What's up, guys? It's Rick from Rick's Rock School here for another lesson. I want to say Coheed lesson, but it's really a Davenport cabinet lesson. And it is a shame that there is a negative stigma about side projects. They're, oh, they're never as good. They're like sequel. Davenport cabinet is good. This is good riff-driven rock and roll. When, when, when somebody asks you how a song goes and you sing the riff instead of singing the words, you know you got some good guitar work here. This song has some excellent guitar work. So I'm excited to get through this. Shout out to Bob O'Pat. It was his idea. He's like, dude, you gotta do some Davenport cabinet. And then I was like, all right, well, you know, I hope. I, at first I said, I don't know how many people are gonna watch, watch that. I mean, I would love that. So we'll see. To all six of you, thanks for watching. Davenport cabinet lesson coming up. Here is the lick in the open, the opening, opening of the song. It opens, it punches you right in the face. It comes in on the upbeat, so watch out for that. So, and we're using capo on the first fret here. Uh, you know, I learned it by ear. I learned it without the capo first, and then I saw a video of Travis doing it, and it, well, there it was, there's the capo. It makes it immensely easier. So pop that capo on the first fret. Um, we're gonna slide to the C note, which is gonna be the third fret of the A, but two frets past the capo here. So we're gonna go C to a D sharp, or open D sharp now. To the F. Back to our C. A sharp or B flat or B flat. Held by that capo. It's the open A string to the open E string. So we have into. You know when you you mean mug it. I mean, It's an E flat power chord to a C. I like. I always like to grab the low E string when I'm playing power chords. When I'm playing power chords on the A string, I like to grab that low E string too. It just makes it heavy. So we're going E flat, slide to C, to B flat, capo. Oh, it looks like it looks like an open A power chord. Now. A flat power chord to A flat add nine. That's gonna be the fourth fret and the six and the six for the power chord and then four, six, and eight for the A flat add nine. Love that. So we get this. The rhythm guitar is doing exactly that. The rhythm guitar player is just playing the chords like that. Travis is dancing between the lead and the chords. So you get this. Just like that. Now his lead part's gonna go like this. So, it's a C minor triad. Eighth fret B, eighth fret G, and the tenth fret of the D. Pick the B, the G, and the D. Then we go 10 G, 10 D, 8 D. 8, 10 on the G to 8 B. So it's. Now we play the same triad. Finish it with a little blues lick there. Eight, ten on the D, eight on the G, and ten on the D. Play that twice. On that intro then, it brings it down into the verse. The verse is gonna go C to A flat, to E flat, to B flat. So you're gonna go like this. Chug along an accent where necessary. Everybody's got their own rhythm guitar style. You know, you can listen for the little rhythms that he's doing. But those are the chords. C, A flat, E flat, B flat. It's a pop song. 
that added those, 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 those are the pop chords. Pop intervals, your one, four, five, six in any order is gonna make a great song. But anyways, then it's gonna go back to that intro again. Instead of doing that intro riff four times, you do it twice and you cut right to back to where you're playing the lead. So we have intro riff, verse, intro, verse. Then we're gonna go to the chorus. The chorus is gonna open up on this. Big, it's an F chord. It's gonna look like an open E power chord. So we get this F chord to the A flat. Now we're gonna slide E flat to C, kind of like the intro to our B flat. So F, A flat, E flat, C, B flat. All right, that's the chorus. This lead that he does, this is what, when I first even knew that Travis put out a side project, I was like, there's going to be a lot of guitar hooks. That's what he does, that's what he brings to the table. Um, and and it's, it's what drew me, one of the things that drew me to Coheed in the first place, great guitar hooks. He's going. <laughs> It is so important to learn your triads. I did a whole lesson on triads. Check out uh, dog coffee. Try check out the dog coffee guitar episode that I did on triads. You, it's absolutely integral if you're going to play lead guitar to know all of your triads. He's building it right here out of an E flat major triad, which would be six on the E eight eight, and you're going to pick and pull to the open string. See how he builds it right out of that chord? So we're gonna pick and pull on the six to the open. Six B to the eight. And then eight G. So the lick is. Now we're gonna go pick and pull off from eight G to seven and then eight D. So it's band after you play that lick twice back on the C to the B flat so you, you do the chorus and after that chorus it's gonna bring us to the solo Cool stuff here, and the capo being on the first fret lets us use an open string to our advantage. All right, so we're gonna go 10 E, 8 B to open. It's that capo holding that B string. Now, open, then we're gonna get 8 G to 10, to 10 on the D. Then he goes up here to the C note on the A fret of low E. To the 11, built out of that C minor pentatonic. 10 D, 10 A. So, so slowly you have. Very, very melodic. Slide back from the eight to the six on the A string. That's your F note to your E flat, and then hit it with that root note C. That's the lick, but the second time he changes one note. Instead of, he changes one note here, he goes, he, instead of playing the eighth fret of the B, he plays the ninth fret. So the first time it's, and the second time it's, Otherwise, the lick remains the same. Just replace that eighth fret of B with the ninth fret the second time around. Then he's gonna just go straight up rock star, classic rock guitar player, C minor pentatonic. We're gonna slide from eight to 10 on the A to the eighth fret of the G. You grab the B too to make it a little more aggressive. And then 
Pick, pick and pull from 10 to 8 on the D to the 8. A, and then finish it off. It's a C minor pentatonic. 8 G to the 10 D. And then we're going to bend up the 10th uh, fret of the G, a whole step. Bring it back down to the 8. And then pick and pull off from 10 to 8 on the G. 10 D. And then give a vibrato on that 8 G. After, after the, the, the solo, it goes back to one time around the verse chords again. That C to A flat, E flat, A flat. It's going to chug on that. All that again. And then after that, guys, it goes back to the chorus. The, the F, A flat, slide into the C. It goes into that progression until the end of the song, and he keeps playing it. Just like that, and it continues and continues and continues. The song is gonna end when, same exact thing here, but we're gonna go. Slows down to the B flat, and then we're gonna go on an F. And that's everyone surrounded by Davenport Cabin, guys. Have fun with it. <laughs>